For part 4 and the last part of the VOR navigational tutorial, I will go over VOR triangulation. How do you tell where you are using the VOR? Well, there is a way, using two VORs. With one VOR, we will fly a specific radial. At the same time, from the second VOR, we will use radials to show us where we are. In this case, we will use the El Toro VOR. So as we're flying the radial of 068 from the Seal Beach VOR, in NAV2 we'll tune in the El Toro VOR with a frequency of 117.2. So when we're flying a radial of 068 from the Seal Beach VOR and we intercept a radial of 285 from the El Toro VOR, we should be right at that airspace triangle. A 293 radial from the El Toro VOR will be right abeam Disneyland and at a 299 radial from the El Toro VOR, we should be right over the Anaheim Angels Stadium. So as we're back in the airplane and flying on a 068 radial from the Seal Beach VOR, in our NAV2 VOR, we'll tune in the El Toro VOR with a frequency of 117.2. Once we tune it in, we'll identify it. Once we identify the El Toro VOR, we'll use the VOR2 heading bug to put in a heading of 285. As the needle centers on the VOR2 at a heading of 285, we are at the edge of the Seal Beach Airport airspace. So as I pause the game, for the first time, I'm going to use GPS to show us how close we are to where we're supposed to be. Remember, we're supposed to be right next to that glass B triangle. Okay, so as you can see, we are very close. We are right there. We are right there. That's close enough. Okay, so let's continue the game. So the next thing we'll do, we'll turn the VOR2 heading bug to a heading of 293. And as we look at the VOR2, we can see that the little triangle is pointing down or from. We always, always use radials from the second VOR to identify our position. We never use headings to it. As the VOR2 needle centers again, Disneyland should be to our left. So we'll turn left, take a look at it, and there it is. That's Disneyland in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, as we move on, next thing we'll do is turn our heading bug on the VOR2 to a heading of 299. The triangle is still pointing down or from the El Toro VOR. So as the VOR2 needle centers again, we should be over or very close to the Anaheim Angels Stadium. So I'm going to pause this game and take a look outside. And there it is, we are close enough. One thing to remember is that VORs are not GPS. They do have some error in them, and the further away you are from the VOR, the greater the error is. But the VOR should generally get you within a quarter mile of where you should be. Just think about it, you're flying an imperfect airplane with an imperfect pilot and imperfect navigational equipment. And just being where you're supposed to be brings a sense of satisfaction like no other. I hope you guys have enjoyed these VOR tutorials. It really was one of the hardest tutorials to make so far. Just as a side note, I love flying in Southern California. It doesn't matter what radio you pick from what VOR, you will overfly a few landmarks and see a few crazy things. So get out there and try it out. Good luck and see you guys soon.